All right, we're back with the second part of the Modmus Advent Calendar. I'm gonna get moving right away because we have a lot to cover and I don't wanna make this super long. This one's a bit loud, so I'm gonna be in and out of here real quick. Just gonna grab these. I got a balance job there. Grab it around here to make sure we don't poke our head out too much. We'll actually get fired at here. Yeah, there it is. All right, let's get out of here. Oh boy, that guy just gets loud. All right, so day 13, we have our PTRD, which is bolt action anti material. Not really familiar with the history of the gun itself. We'll just start on the next door with these. That whole bolt comes back. Each shot. <laughs> In the uh, PTRS, which is and block fed. Actually, have the direct on top irons. Beautiful. Actually, have to take the clip out of there. Ooh. So yeah, day 13, I could, didn't catch the plaque for that one. It's so loud, I just want to be in and out. I'll catch it at the bottom here. Day 14. There we go. Familiar. Barricades. And sledgehammer. We have Rainbow Six Steve, which is a new take and hold character. Uh, this relies on a lot of external mods. I have a nice list here to grab But this is a ridiculous character that basically allows you to go through different loadouts instead of individual guns for Tons of different operators and they've done a really good job of representing a lot of those. We also have a uh, deployable shield here uh, Looks like there's a spawn lock and a non spawn lock version I'm not run into this in the character yet But basically you can just plant it and then pull the cover up so, actually, it would be very useful in taking hold if there's a position that you don't get an RMG cover for. I actually do have a plaque in here. I'm trying to remember to look at these this time around. Thank you, Sir Potatoes, for Rainbow Six Steve. Even have the outside of house represented here. Never reinforce kids' room. Oh, there's a camera, too. <laughs> Maybe just a light. All right. Day 15. Moving along. Whew. Deep Rock Galactic. We have the Deep Core GK2 assault rifle. I've not played a whole ton of this yet. Um, by Oakham. We also have the pistol available just on Thunderstore. But this guy is a ton of fun. Ammo counter. And a big bolt release right up top. <laughs> I think we can pick the axe up. But yeah. Ooh. Anything we can mine on that? Just curious. Making sure I'm not missing some Easter egg. Anyway, but yeah. Day two. Day 16. Loaded there. We'll keep him. The Taz 81 MAPC. I'm trying to learn some Russian. Slasit? Ah. Uh, still gonna be rough to pronounce some of this stuff. Prototype, but never actually used. We have another one of the nice museum ones here with some history behind it. Maybe grab some shells around the corner. Basically, uh, whenever, yeah, in 65. Um, on the way back down from space, they didn't land where they expected, and all they had to defend themselves with was a Makarov. So, they came up, I guess, with the Taz, uh, 81, and, yeah. It wasn't goofy enough for just being a 410 revolver. There's also just a straight-up 
like dinner knife looking thing at the front here for our bayonet. There was a version with a machete as well, but we'll get around to firing this real quick. I don't want to take up too much time getting through because there is so, so much. But thank you, thank you to Captain Greythorn for the Taws 81. Actually, kind of excited to use this one and take and hold. Alrighty, 17. We have some uh, Night City here, <laughs> starting with the Tsunami New in Bronze. Such fun level work. Yeah, some cyberpunk weapons. A couple other skins for the pistols here. A nice compensator too. And we have our thermal katanas in red and blue. Also kind of us, kind enough to give us a uh, Sosic six spawner. <laughs> oh, probably not gonna be able to stab them that well through the armor. Imagine that. <sighs> but yeah, day 17. Super impressed with just the uh, aesthetic that was pulled off here. I think that music was custom too, if I remember reading something correctly. Super cool. Alright, we're gonna head back out. On to day 18. Alright, thanks to Nickpo for day 17 with the cyberpunk stuff there. I had to run down and grab the plaque and look, and since that loads the scene away, I grab the weapon again anyway. Day 18. Let's have a new weapon to break every door with. This one is a bit ridiculous. I was quite thrown back. When seeing it for the first time, let me get these guys shut off. As they can be a bit loud. All oh, but one of them. But we have working and actually usable vehicles in H3 now. We'll get to the forklift in a moment. Kiss the engine switch on this side. I won't spend too much time flying around. Thanks, potatoes for the map and the vehicles for fun we'll load them up in case we run into anything we won't but yeah basically we sit left hand for steering or well, one hand for steering doesn't matter which but other hand is used for shifting gas is going to be on your trigger and the uh, touchpad will be your brake so we're going to shift down we're using the touchpad directional to go down in a first up to the right and then up for second down down for third and then touchpad for brake but yeah I certainly could go the whole way through this course and waste everybody's time 
but uh I've already spent far too much time on uh North of Dakota. Um both running over Sosigs. And uh, just kind of doing hill climbs myself and failing at them. But super fun, really recommend on that take and hold map. You can spawn them out of the meat miss area or the Modmus area right now. I think there's a separate spawn area coming soon whenever these get packaged, packaged in individually. So we'll head back into the forklift just real quick. Oh, no, okay. I'm gonna head backwards. Oh, wow. I haven't been able, I wasn't able to pick that guy up. This is groundbreaking. Seems to not want to go to the left, so we're gonna go to the right. <laughs> As we spin out. <laughs> oh no, this might not be good. Okay. <laughs> I'll call it there. Oh goodness. But yeah, super freaking cool. Unexpected. Try these out in North to go to. Thank you, Potatoes, for one of the funner things I've played with this year in H3. All right, back up. 19. The reload scene out of some of these, so I gotta go back down and grab a sledgehammer. <laughs> what I'm just going to assume is Ocarina of Time, as it's the one I'm most familiar with. We have our Master Sword. Really nice model. There's some spots that have some better lighting. And some other accessories from Zelda are, I think, Bagoron Sword. Can't remember what this is actually from, and we don't have descriptions on there. And I haven't found a plaque in here just yet. I actually have the sounds too from the games. A Master Shield. Not familiar with this one. Oh, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've been through. Any of the Zelda. And then this is our, uh... Oh, I can't... The Kokori? I sound like an idiot trying to remember this stuff. Yeah, a whole bunch of nice... Zelda... Melee weapons. Some really nice models. Oh. There's a little bit of light on them. See this Bagoron. There we go. Mary B. I'm gonna stick with him for now. On to day 20. City Robo. The Colt Walker, which is a ball and cap mistaken. So we have a new loading process in this one. So we have to go to the loading mode like most. Cap in the back, ball in the front. We can move over to the next. And before we can go any further, we actually have to punch the ball down with the lever. Next over, cap and ball, punch down. This will be so much fun to use. It really will be, won't it? <laughs> the reloads are going to be insane with 
the uh, cow wiener calico. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. And we can fan the hammer as well. To reload, we have to take those caps off and then just put the ball back in. And if you forget to punch one of the balls down, it won't let you. You have to do that before you can advance to the next spot. So super fun. Thank you, City Robo. Good work. Oh, I think we can still sneak them in there even if we've missed them. Yeah, we can. I don't know if we get to keep this on the way out. You know me and reloads. Gotta try. Hey, we do. Cool. Alright, 21. This is a big one. Oh, I didn't load that as well as I thought. Back with Grand Sword. How about the fake one that breaks? We get that one. I'm not gonna play the trailer here. This is an entirely different mode, and uh, I know this isn't gonna come across right as I'm watching in VR and then showing it through. I'll do my best to explain, and then we'll link to this uh, if it's available elsewhere. I haven't really checked yet. So this is by Devin, um, who has done so much fun stuff in the modding scene, but this is King of the Hill. So we have a brand new map that is so, so huge. Three pretty much distinct levels to it. A lot of verticality. Um, teams of 20 by default. We have some lower health than we're used to. And there's some respawns. And you can see there's also time periods that we can set. This is where we want to play top, middle, bottom. And then we get loadouts for ourselves as it goes through. We have a hold point, basically the hill. And then two sides of Sosigs will spawn. Red denoting the enemies. And then green denoting friendlies. So you can see they're pulling around on World War II stuff now, I believe. Maybe not. Can't remember what I picked. Post war. Dummy me. So they will make their way out to the hold. And real quick before we get too much further and jump in ourselves. Boy, is it fun to mess with them in this spectator mode because we can take their tiny Sosa guns and blow their tiny bodies apart. We can also just straight up whip them. <laughs> but anyway. So there's one of their spawns. Nobody's quite made it to the point yet, so they need some help. Let's go in as a skirmisher. If your team controls the point, you cannot respawn. Neither can your Sosic friends, so keep mind of that. K50M. Skitty would be so disappointed if I didn't have that memorized. Okay. We do have a full auto. And we've got to find our way around. I think it's down on this end. I'm trying to get there without too much time wasted. Oh, well, it almost fell. Again, one hit, already down to 636, half health. No way to get health back that I'm aware of. Enemy owns the point at the moment. Our team's making a good push. Sometimes it's hard to see who's on your team right off the bat, but work in progress mode. Lots of other options coming from what I've heard. The ability to have uh, imbalanced teams since you're basically a superhuman compared to the Sosigs. Allowing respawns while points are captured, things like that. Devin wanted to avoid some uh, feature creep though. Oh no, come on. Try to give us some smoke cover here. Oh, 
All right, so after we have a point, we're able to purchase supplies, which you can then use at one of the supply areas to build some fortifications, to make it easier to hold. I'm not sure if these stay after we die or not. I believe this is uh, based on how long you hold. Yeah, I'm still figuring a whole ton of this out. Such a large thing just for a, <laughs> a meat miss day mod. Mod miss day. Mod, so. Can get a little bit harder each time to defend this. Because we'll have less friendly Sozigs. Since I was aggressive and got myself killed, I can't respawn and I'm back in spectator mode here, so. Again, if you're so inclined, you could cheat and grab. If you want to speed it up right now, I end up just offing my own Sozigs and letting them come down and take it, but that is the gist of it. There will be a whole bunch more of this happen. I'm sure I'll play it on the channel, so have fun with this. Play with a spectator mode, too. This is all available on your wrist now uh, for increase and decrease player size. So ridiculous. All right. We're going to call it on this one. All right. Trusty sledgehammer again. Day 22. This room's a bit dark. I'm gonna grab a flashlight real quick. We can go over what this is. I believe it's just utility. There we go. So what we have here is module rigs. This is a customizable quick belt system that is pretty ridiculous. So we get to use all these different parts. Uh, they're kind of strewn about on the shelves in here, but available in one convenient area in the item spawner. And uh, drop them right onto the main slick or vest and build our own customized quick belt. This was by Meat Banana. I love seeing these repeat names. You guys do such fantastic work. This is insane. And once you have everything all hunky dory where you want it, you can obviously wear, I can put it on the right way. This always takes me like six tries because I'm special. But you can also vault it. So drop it on the item spawner, scan it, and you'll have it for later. It's like I have some other ones from previous shoots. So super cool. This is going to be a lot of fun for even if you want to run specific limited ammo runs. Um where you can carry a little bit more, or a little bit more of a specific thing, will be a lot of fun. Not gonna spend a whole bunch of time checking it out now, but that is gonna be ridiculous what some of you guys come up with, I'm sure. All right, let me get my sledgehammer back. I don't think I can break a door open with a vest. Thank you, flashlight. 23. This one. Goodness, goodness. And our gill, 28. 28. With the <laughs> C4 remote controlled drones, which is has been more fun than I could have imagined. Spawn lockable. Tap our on button, and then... Go ahead and fly. We can grab our totally not a Nintendo DS. Two hands, and on the index, it's... The thumbsticks to control. So the right one is your rotation and altitude. And then the left is your pitch and is that yaw? I'm always bad with that. But we have our camera to help control at great distances. We can go out to about 150 with the distance here. More than enough room for this. I've been using this as a spotter for the mortar out of the uh, meat misgifts and it has been insane. But since they're C4 drones, right trigger also just blows them up. Need another. Send them off. Too fun. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I wonder if we can take this out with us. Good job, Nate. Holy crap. So much fun. Ah, we have a fun one to blow up door 24. 
Beautiful. Oh, boo. <laughs> they don't react to explosives. Or those explosives, apparently. Yeah, that drone on North East Dakota is something else. All right, day 24. We have the Apex dropship here. With... I think we looked at this at some point earlier while it was in development. The Apex weapon pack by Nick Poe. We have our G7. All of these functional heads-up display elements. It's our wood variant. Alternator. Guy's a little bit wonky to hold because he's got no stock. better to just brace with the second hand here but wait there's more we have our 3030 repeater also an extended tube available for it Super cool weapon that I was never able to hit anything with. Our R301, right? Carbine. The daily driver. Super good sounding. Single. And full. I might be dropping some frames here just because of my shell still being on. sounds come across so well let's drop down I think we have a couple left just need some power slides and a grappling hook which we have p2020 if I'm not mistaken in chrome this fascinated that all these heads-up display elements are working and look great also a nice secret secondary color for the alternator here R99 hanging out down here. Some ridiculous recoil. I think this is the one that recoils down, isn't it? That might be the sidewander. A little bit. Mag release on this guy with a bolt release as well. That front iron. Having the heads up on it. Again, just... Can't put into words. How cool that is. And then the last, our RE-45. Nice and chunky sound. That is the Apex Weapons Pack. So we just have day 25 left to do, so we gotta get back to the scene. This would have helped if I kept something worth actually. Oh, I don't need to break anything, come to think of it. So, day 25 is our presence under the Modmus tree. The heavily armored Modmus tree. I'll do my best to get through these at a decent pace. As there is so much stuff, and these boxes like to flip out, so heads up there. We have our Astra Model 300. Just a little guy. 32 ACP, I believe. Yep. Put mag release and slide release, which is quite uncommon for some of those smaller pistols. Gotta find all the latches. There he goes. 
like clockwork. Can't even pick this one up. Hey, there he is. So we get our <laughs> XM109 AMPR, which is firing 25 millimeter airburst. Like the uh, XM25, I believe. We get some additional barrels. Don't know if we can take this one out or how the how that actually works or if this will just replace him. Looks like it's just a replacement. Don't have anything up there. I have a sledgehammer. If we can get that barrel replaced with something longer. There we go. Chungus brake on there too. He's trying. There we go. Good. I was already loaded. Typical air burst stuff. Always fun to have some other anti-material area of denial stuff in here. <sighs> we'll save him. Mm -mm. Ah, uh, yes. One of the presents in a present. We have the Whitney Wolverines. 22. Don't actually have slides, you just kind of pull the back of the bolt, it looks like. So we can't do our traditional pistol racks on these that I've found, but super golden eye looking. Interesting design on them. Come on. A little bit too much on that guy. Anyway. Make sure I actually do some cleanup here. These, that won't hurt the scene as none of these spawn until you actually unlock everything. So, performance will degrade here quickly because there is so much crap. A lot of physics collisions happening. I missed one, I must have missed one. one two, second one back here. One of these just not work. I did miss one. Done. He love flipping out too. Okay, before they flip out anymore. We have some, I believe, Titanfall weapons now instead. We have the D5 Copperhead. This is that downward recoil. There's a really interesting recoil system happening there with it pushing that weight forward like a vector. And then our other one is the Sidewinder. This is actually target tracking. So, let's see if I can pull a clip from uh, this weekend while I was playing Taking Hold. This is kind of a cheat code. It does a fantastic job, uh, especially with the grappling hook moving around. So, tons of fun. Tons of fun. Let's see if we can get the heck out of here. Move on to the next. Present in a present. Don't need to touch those ones yet. Ah, uh, yes. Our beautiful, beautiful Roth Steyer. That this gorgeous follower on the stripper clip. And of course. Once we get it loaded, bolt back. We can finally flip the shells out. <laughs> Roth Steyer. Alrighty. A few more to get through. Uh, this was busted actually recently, so thank you again, Andrew, for fixing this. This is the Mateba 2006M. Somebody said this was from um, Payday? So, just quite the odd barrel or um, cylinder flip out there. 
all the way to the top. I have to get a nice exaggerated flip to get it back in. I guess that's meant to make it easier to load. But goofy looking. Goofy looking. 44 mag on him. 357. Oh, this guy was busted. We have a Christmas slick with Sosix on it. Beautiful. Oh, that's the one from the, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Hope we don't have like, quick build for this. Strange. That's from the old coloring contest. Interesting. Yep, that one was not opening for me the last couple times, so that must have been the busted one. We have the uh, PL15. 14 is already in the game. 15. Not quite sure on the differences here. Let's go grab one real quick just to look. I can do it without taking too much time. So, sites are definitely a lot more readable and aggressive. Just a larger platform, it appears. Much larger. In the just general stature of it. Still railed. Controls look about the same. Maybe a little more fleshed out. But yeah, the suppressor height sights. That uh, they include with this, as we put the suppressor on, are super cool. Just kind of raise up. Nice little feature. from whoever made this. And cleaning up the scene. One more time. This is our last individual weapon. Oh, we already grabbed him. Hey, didn't flip out. We finally have PKM. Really nice. Really nice model. Underneath, load up. We don't have a front grip, we just have the front handle and the recoil on this. It's a bit insane. This will be a really nice, like, distance cover fire one. I love how those shells get spit out so far back, too. <sighs> Beautiful. Feels like an LMG. Good stuff. Alright, so that is the last full normal weapon, I guess we'll call it. This entire stack, I'm not going to go through every box, but this is all Module Val. So this is just a ridiculous assortment of attachments, variations of the VAL, magazines, suppressors, brakes. They've provided a couple pre-built ones, but you can see, I don't know if I can get these grab points exactly right, pull some of this stuff off, probably not. Okay, so he rotates off, cover. Pretty sure we can actually take the bolt off. Get our dust cover off. And this uses the module AK system where you kind of have to, um, you have to operate this by touching it, not using the touchpad. If I can get down to the bolt. Hopefully not. I'm sure the grip comes off in the back here. All kinds of fun stuff. Yep. So, just the big teardown, basically. But yeah, the uh, additional stuff. There's suppressors. There's all kinds of magazines. Fours. Stocks. Goodness, that's ridiculous stock. So I'm not going to go through absolutely every one of these. But this whole pile is just module valve stuff. So, so much stuff. 
But that's going to be it for Modmus. My quick recap of it. Thank you um, for everybody, all these people who've put this stuff together. You guys are all insane. This whole thing has been um, above and beyond expectations and came together so well. You guys work together. Just not even for this, the whole year with mods in this game have been insane. You're all something else. The game would not be the same without you. So, thank all you guys. I'm sorry if I missed your plaques, um, or if something else I didn't represent properly. But, uh, yeah, if you're anybody who's watching, uh, if you're appreciative enough in a Thunderdor Thunderstore description for the Modmus stuff, there is a donate link. So, consider helping these guys out because they have put so much time and effort the discord is constantly buzzing with everybody helping each other to put these awesome toys and gifts that are again like we got vehicles out of this so anyway i'll stop chatting uh, i think all of this stuff will be available as individual mods that they're working on doing that now from what i've read um so just keep an eye on thunderstore i'm sure they'll come out individually if uh, space is a little bit of an issue for getting the whole thing at once but uh, until next time, I'm sure I'll have some of the Rainbow Six Siege character gameplay coming up next. And uh, if you want to watch the actual Meat Mist stuff, I'll link Anton's video because he'll have a better representation of what got put in than I will. So thank you all. Hope you had a good holiday. Have a good new year and we'll see you next year.